Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Vano. So first of all, you probably noticed that I'm in a different setup today. Yes, I am actually in Maine right now, Portland, Maine. I'm visiting my mom for the holidays. And before anyone says anything, yes, I did get tested before I got on the plane. And I have another test coming up in two days. And thus far, everything has been negative. I have been taking all of the safety precautions and being as careful as possible when flying. I've been wearing my N95 mask, like the whole situation. So I really wanna make that known right now. I have been taking all of the safety precautions before coming on this trip because I know how volatile everything is right now. And her safety is the most important to me, but I really did have to spend some time with her because she hasn't seen anyone in almost eight months. So I really did feel like I have to spend at least Christmas just a little bit here. I am taking a little bit longer of a break here just to make sure I'm quarantining and following all of the rules and protocols and regulations. Anyway, back to the video. If you have not already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I love having everyone on here and following the Dude Glam journey. And give this video a big thumbs up and hit the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you wanna play around with the entire wishful skincare line with me today, then keep on watching. All right, you guys, so let's just jump right into it. So Wishful is the skincare brand under Huda Beauty. They have Kaoli, which is their fragrance. They have Huda Beauty, which is their makeup. And now they have Wishful, which is their skincare. So obviously me being me, who has tried Huda Beauty products before, tried Kaoli, I obviously needed to try Wishful as well too, because thus far, I have been pleasantly surprised with the majority of the products that I have tried from this company. And so I really wanted to try Wishful and just see how it was. Now, I know that Wishful was launched, what, like a little over a year ago, and they've been rolling out products periodically. So I know technically this isn't like a new video, but for me, now that they've had a chance to really roll out a decent amount of products, I wanna see how they all work together and just go from there. I'm a skincare junkie. I love trying new skincare products. I'm always trying to find like the best new eye creams, facial serums, moisturizers, oils, SPFs, like whatever it may be, I'm always down to try new skincare. I love skincare. Also, I will be posting another video talking about the Wishful Clean Genie Balm, which is their makeup removing balm. Ooh, just wait for that one. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not already because that is an amazing video. I had the craziest experience using that product and I just honestly can't wait to show all of you. But anyway, let's just jump right into it. So like I said, Wishful decided to come out with these little value sets for the holidays. And of course, you know, I had to jump right on that. So I picked up these two value sets from Wishful. Oh, look how cute they are. So this is the Quench value set. And this has the Thirst Trap Cocoon Mask. And I believe there's two of them in here. And then also the Chin Lift Sculpting Sheet Mask. And then I have this other one from Wishful and this is their Bright Set. And this one includes the Yoglo Enzyme Scrub, the Honey Bomb Jelly Moisturizer, and the Get Even Rose Oil. So that's literally, I have the entire Wishful line just within these two. I think you can still order some of these on HoodieBeauty.com or Sephora, or you can go to Namie's and pick these up, which is a store in Los Angeles. It's a pro store. I have tried the Yoglo Enzyme, so that's not new to me. And I have to say, I actually really do like that because it just takes off all of the dead skin from the day. You all know how much I love my Clarisonic, like that's my ride or die. And when I heard they were going out of business, I went out and purchased as many of the brush heads as I could to make that last as long. So I think I'm stocked up for a pretty decent amount of time with my Clarisonic brush heads, but I also wanted to try and find new products that I could introduce to my skincare. God forbid, knock on wood, if that decides to break. So I really wanted to try and also introduce new things to that as well too. Anyway, let's not waste any more time. I feel like I've said that like five times. So when you get this little bright box and I will have all the links listed down below in the description if you feel like you want to go purchase these, they are minis. So you're not getting the full size of each product. And I think that's honestly a good thing because you're testing out the entire brand, right? So you're just getting a little feel of everything. So this is the honey bomb and this is the rose oil. And then last but not least, we have the mini. I really like how these are packaged too. Sorry, a little ASMR here. No ASMR? Okay. Anyway, so here is the mini wishful. So cute. And like I said, I have tried this before, so I am used to this. Now let's also open this one up. It's got a little bow here on the back. These are also wrapped in tissue paper. So you get two thirst trap masks and one chin lift in the quench set. And you know what? I'm actually very thankful that I have two of the masks because I am gonna be in Maine for maybe like another week and it is very dry here. It's very cold. We are expecting a lot more snow. Of course, like the huge nor'easter just came through and just like dumped a ton of snow. So my skin is definitely needing some extra love as I kind of stay in this climate. Let me just go ahead and get this hair out of the way. 
so we don't get any product in there. Is this cute? Do you guys like this? That'll do. Okay, so before we get started and I put anything on my face, I do wanna show you that I am not wearing any makeup, okay? No makeup, there's nothing on here. So I have a clean face, clean slate. The only thing I have on is the day and I'm ready to just take it off. Sorry, I'm having a little trouble opening this up, but hey, at least you know it's sealed. All right, there we go. All right, so we're gonna do a dollop, dollop. Whoops, that was a bigger dollop than I expected. Okay, and we'll do some here on the neck. So what you're gonna see as I massage this into my face is that it's gonna start to ball up. Do you see how it's getting kind of clumpy as I'm massaging this around my face? What that is, here, I'll get even closer. <laughs> well, we real close. What that is, is all the dead skin from today, and I mean, probably a few other days as well too, that's being lifted off my face. So the enzyme scrub is going in and taking off all of the dead skin. This does not hurt. It's not like I'm ripping skin off my face. It's just a nice little exfoliator. Don't forget the neck, you guys. Always get the neck. Look at all of that dead skin. Do you see that? Definitely get it around the nose. Oh my God. Ah, I know this is kind of gross, you guys, but you know what? It's definitely working. This is all dead skin. So I'm gonna go back in now with this towel and I'm gonna wipe it all away. I'm not gonna wet it. Get all of this gunk off my face. Oh, do you see that? Do you see the discoloration? I don't know if you can see that. Do you see the discoloration there? Look at all that, that's all dead skin. I just did the Yoglo enzyme scrub and you all saw how that took all that dead skin off. It feels so soft. It just feels like ready for application, right? So if you did this before makeup, or if you're like doing this to prep your skin for skincare, my skin just feels right. All right, so now let's go in with the chin lift. So this is supposed to have a lifting effect, enhance the jawline, have a sculpted appearance, and then also add hydration. So let's see how this works. All right, so here is the mask. I've never tried this before, you guys. All right, so Huda said, that you peel away this part here. Ooh. And there's kind of like this jelly like, oh yeah, it's kind of sticky. And then you pull the mask apart to activate the ingredients. I forgot to mention too that the Yoglo enzyme scrub also just has like a very kind of spa-like refreshing smell. All of these are scented, but they're so light, they just seem more like spa-like, you know what I mean? Not like the OG Huda products. So here's what my chin looks like before. And now let's put it to the test. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on my chin, lift this up, woo, put it around my ear. Well, at least it's like a nice cradle for my chin. You know what, let me actually pull this, can you pull this down? All right, so here's what I look like with the chin lift on. I really do feel a pull happening here. It's like Spanx or Skims for your face. You're like, sir, please put your mask on. I'm like, <laughs> I did. So we are just going to go right in here and do the thirst trap mask. Mm, it smells good though. You know what? I think I'm actually gonna wait because I wanna put more of this on my chin after it's done. So I've decided I'm gonna wait for this to be done. I've got like another 12 minutes and then I'm gonna come back, we're gonna remove this and then we're gonna put the mask on, All right? So I will be back in 12 minutes. <sighs> okay, you guys. It has been 25 minutes now almost. I've been using my phone to record. So I've been bouncing back and forth, but it has been almost 25 minutes. And as I've kept this on, I have definitely felt like a cooling effect happening. Kind of like when you put aloe on your skin for the first time, it kind of has that cooling effect. Also, I've been taking my index and middle finger and just kind of massaging my chin upwards like this every so often. I do this anyway in my skincare routine, so I don't feel like this is different or out of the ordinary for me to do with this. And I feel like, I mean, hopefully it's kind of helped the process along here, which is kind of lifting and sculpting. This is a little bit painful though. So I do kind of wish that maybe it was just a little bit bigger or maybe she comes out with like a size for guys because my face like clearly <laughs> it's not holding. Here's one, two. Okay, let's see if I look any different. All right, and this is what it looks like after. It's just kind of like sticky and a little bit sticky. <laughs> I don't feel like there's too much stickiness or tackiness on my face, but what do you guys think? Do you see a difference with my chin? So what do you think? Like, I guess I can see a little bit of more of a sculpting situation happening here. Obviously I can't see from the side, but I'm not really sure if I feel like that did much for all of this. I'll let you guys decide. What do you think? Leave it down in the comments below. Do you feel like the chin lift actually worked on me? So now I'm gonna move on to the Thirst Trap face mask and I already opened it. There is a lot of product in here. Like, 
Do you see all the juices? Oh my God, it is super slimy. <laughs> Thank God it's not drippy. It has more like a jelly-like consistency. There's like this little mesh side on it. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. Oops, sorry. Okay, so here's the top part. So we're just gonna apply this baby. Oh my God. And then pull this little mesh part off. Here we go. Oh my gosh. It has such a nice cooling effect. So this is also supposed to stay on your face for 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm gonna take whatever goop is left over here on the pack. And I'm gonna apply this to my chin. Leave on for 20 minutes, remove and gently pat excess formula into skin. Okay, so you do not wash this off. You let it just kind of sink into the skin. And on that note, I'll be back in 20. All right, it's been 20 minutes. I'm getting the rest of the goop in there and I am just lathering up my hands. Oh, it smells so good. My hands feel so soft. All right, let's go ahead and take this off and see what all is happening here. All right, you ready? I'll come close. Oh, well, my face is definitely hydrated, that's for sure. My face right now feels so hydrated and lubricated. <laughs> it just feels so soft and just hydrated. Like literally it just feels hydrated. Is that what this is supposed to do? Yep, instant hydration, softer skin, dewy glow, soothing. It did all of those. So just taking whatever is left over and kind of massaging it into my skin doing upward motions, right? This would be a good time too to do a little lymphatic drainage right here. So you can just do it with your fingers or use your knuckles and just slowly massage that now that your skin has a nice slip to it. Oh, that feels so good. All right, moving on now to the latest release from Wishful and that is the Get Even Rose Oil. Now this has really been hyped up. I've seen a lot of really good things about this. I am a sucker for rose oils. Now obviously I will be derma rolling as well too. I didn't bring that with me on this trip but I will be doing an in-depth skincare routine very soon. So I will be showing you like my step-by-step -step on what I do every night and day to achieve my skin. My tried and true of this has been the Corez Rose Oil. Oh my God, I feel like I don't talk about Corez enough on my channel, but Corez is an epic skincare brand. They're a clean brand. You can also find them at Sephora and I am a diehard for their skincare. So I'm really excited to see how this lives up to my Corez and if it is just as good. But from everything I've been seeing, this is supposed to be amazing. So I'm really excited to try this. So let's go ahead and open this up. Let's Oh, it smells so good. It actually kind of reminds me of Cora's a little bit. They kind of have similar smells. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit here in the dropper and put some on the palm of my hand. I did four drops, massage this around, and then I'm just going to lightly start to place that. This smells like fresh pressed roses, you guys. One, two, three, four. And I'm gonna use that for the lower half of my face. And again, upward motions. My skin doesn't feel greasy. It doesn't feel clogged. It just feels very nourished and loved and taken care of. <laughs> and then we'll do just a little tapping motion as well too to stimulate blood flow. <sighs> Take away the day. Mm. We're hydrating from the outside, but we're also hydrating from the inside. Drink your lemon water. Now the last product in this lineup is the Wishful Honey Balm, and this is the Jelly Moisturizer. This has lavender, honey, niacinamide, and turmeric. I will link Wishful's Instagram down below so you can go there and check out more information on them. So if you have any more questions or things like that, check out their Instagram page down below and you will find a ton more information on Wishful. This is just really much just like a review to see how the products work together. So you can all see, so I can see as well too, and I'll just give you like my thoughts and opinions. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and it's a nice whipped texture so that much and I'm gonna put it on the back of my hands this is very lavender scented and lavender is supposed to help with calming things down and just kind of you know ah de-stress so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this all over the face oh oh I like this one okay okay instantly I really like this moisturizer I don't think that this is something I would wear necessarily during the day I feel like it's just a little bit too thick for me, but for those of you who do have drier skin, this would be great for morning and evening. I could see myself using this definitely in the evening, but I'm really liking how this feels. And the lavender just kind of calms everything and relaxes me. I'm super interested to see what they're gonna do when it comes to eye creams, which by the way, I'm gonna put some eye cream on now because I am going to bed. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of the Ole Henriksen 
banana bright cream. I'm gonna put just a little bit on right here. And then lastly, I'm gonna apply some of my Huda Beauty Silk Balm. You guys, I've been using this for a while now and I have to say, I really like this. Now, technically this was released under Huda Beauty, but Huda herself has even said that this is pretty much like a lip treatment. So I find this to also be more like skincare and I use this at night before I'm going to bed. My lips are so soft and so just like, Mm. They don't feel like they've lost any moisture. So Silk Balm, you guys, don't sleep on that. Though. All right, you guys, well, here is the completed Wishful skincare routine in the order that they suggest to have the products done. What do you think? What are your initial thoughts and opinions about this? Sound off in the comments below. I will say this right off the bat, my skin feels super hydrated. It feels super moisturized. My skin smells amazing. I smell like a spa. It's not overpowering. If you're someone who has used Huda Beauty products before and you are really sensitive to the smell, these products do have smell, but they are a lot less than the makeup products. So just be aware of that. If you don't mind smell, this is probably not gonna bother you because the smell is so light and refreshing and spa-like. So I don't see a problem with the smell. I honestly don't think I've had an issue with any makeup product smelling except for Cody Airspun. No. All right, so let me just go through the products and tell you which ones I like. It is the Yoglo Enzyme Scrub and the Honey Balm. These two were really amazing. I have used the Yoglo Enzyme Scrub before, and this has become kind of like a staple in my routine at this point. Or sometimes if I'm just feeling, let's say like maybe a little lazy and I don't wanna do my whole skincare routine, I'll just do Yoglo and then put on a moisturizer and call it. So I've really put the Yoglo Enzyme Scrub into rotation into my skincare. Now the Honey Balm, <sighs> Okay, really a knockout product for me. I'm definitely gonna have to put this into rotation with my Cora's Rose Night Cream because this is a really great night cream, I feel. I would not use this during the day, but for the night, hell yes. Next up, I do have to say that the rose oil is very, very good. I love the way it felt on my skin and I did feel some similarities between this rose oil and my Cora's. And if it's anything like Cora's, then I know that this is gonna be amazing. So I think I'm going to also put this one into rotation as well too and see how that works with my Cora's. But I was very surprised with this. I love the texture. I love what I read about the rose oil as well too. Again, you can find out more information about it down below on Wishful's Instagram. So go check it out because there's some really great benefits to the rose oil. After that, I have to say, I really did enjoy the Thirst Trap mask. This was a lot of fun. I love the slimy texture to it. I do wish it was a little bit bigger. Like it kind of stopped here on my face rather than here. I kind of have a bigger face. I don't know, maybe they can just make their sheet masks a little bit bigger or they can do like different sizes or something. And I've never actually seen a company do that where they have like small, medium, large for like skincare products, I guess. So maybe that might be something cool to see with Wishful because that also brings me to my last product, which was the chin lift. I don't really feel like I saw that much of a result. And again, I'm leaving it up to you guys to really tell me if you see a difference, but honestly, it did kind of hurt going over my ears. So I kind of wish that it was a little bit bigger, but hey, maybe that can be adjusted just like I was talking about. And they can do like small, medium, large versions of products like this to accommodate different face shapes. That'd be really cool. And I haven't seen a company do that yet. So wishful, maybe you can get on that and uh, be ahead of the curve with that one. And now I know this was not part of the wishful lineup, but it is still part of their skincare. Y'all be sleeping on Silk Balm if you have not tried this yet. Get yourself some Silk Balm and then let me know how it goes for you when you put this on at night. Go to bed, wake up. You are gonna have the softest, plumpest lips. I kid you not. I like, I would gift everyone this if I could because Silk Balm is amazing. Hey guys, good morning. So it is the next day after using Wishful for the evening. First of all, look at my lips. Do you see how kind of plump they are? That's from using Silk Balm at night. I am religious about using Silk Balm every night before I go to bed now, and it has really changed the game for me in terms of keeping my lips very plump and moisturized. But overall, like look at my skin. What do you guys think? Sound off in the comments below. I feel like a lot of my skin's hydration has really maintained itself over the night, and I sleep mostly on my right side. So this is the side of my face that gets a lot of the abuse at night, but it pretty much looks even to me. There is still so much plumpness in my skin. It doesn't feel dry. I feel like if I just got into the shower right now and went about my day, my skin would be pretty well taken care of. I'd throw on my Mario Badescu and I'd be good to go. So sound off in the comments below. What do you guys think? I'm very, very happy with the way this turned out. My skin feels amazing. So thank you, Wishful.
All right, you guys. Well, that is it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate everyone who comes on here and takes the time to watch these videos and experiences this journey with me through music, art, and fashion. I will be uploading one more video for 2020, probably on Wednesday or Thursday. So get ready for that. And then that will be my last upload for this year for Dooglam, you guys. So I will see you then again in 2021. I hope all of you have an amazing rest of your holidays. Stay safe out there, you guys. And I will see you on my next video. All right. Bye.